Hello and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Pirates gameplay. Today I'm gonna show you the skills, the crew member and the perks, how they are you gonna use them and which one are useful, which one are not. So there we go. I have to tap your level and then the tavern. These we can call it also your crew members. There we go. Here we have a list of crew members. I have already bought all of the or you can say the most of the crew members so they each have their prices and each of them have their uh, different skills for example this guy Kanoji let's see he grants experience multiplied by 2 so uh, I thought this guy was useless <laughs> anyway so here this guy is well regeneration he can instantly restore all of the HP of your ship it's a cooldown, you can reduce the cooldown time by upgrading your skills. These are called as perks. They, uh, the, These guys are providing you golden perks. If you have played, uh, if you're a gamer, you know they're common and epic perks and golden perks and all of that there. I mean, classifications. I call these perks as skills uh, just to make it more, you know, simple. And here we go. These have, they have different prices, this guy. Wow, this one is cool. <laughs> so he grants damage twice. Uh, and, and this guy is quite shitty as well. So these are your crew members. You buy your crew members from here with the money. Other coins you earn from the game. Every part of the game you play, either it's a main story or the side story, there are super ships as well. I mean, from the name, it's obvious they are the super ships. They are the legendary ships in this game. You can find them in each of the map and uh, <clears throat> you have to fight them and they're pretty you know tough to defeat but it, it's really fun and they will grant you a good amount of gold as well so back to the topic here we have this icon as perks perks are your skills and there are many perks these are sale and hold their passive skills i mean Passive skills are just like that. You don't have to use them. They are active all of the time if you are using them. And these uh, these are the active skills. Active skills you have to use them while you are in battle or you are I mean uh, in a racing mission or whatever wherever you are. So I'm gonna explain each of them um, one by one. So let's go to these sale passive. So there are many skills in this sail passive. For example, the skills currently I am using this one is stay alive. So when you are going to synchronize your map 100%, you have to save 10 drowning people. If you're using the skills and it is fully upgraded, it will give you more time to save the sailors who are drowning. And this skill is called the manic events and this one is also fully upgraded it gives it, it increases the possibility uh, for dynamic uh, dynamic events to happen occur more frequently and the dynamic events include those she uh, you know the slave ships and also these people drowning in the sea so apart from that there are many skills that I'm gonna show you this skills the file seeker I have an upgraded it you have uh, if you want to upgrade you need books and coins you can uh, get books by completing the side missions that I will, I will be uh, showing you guys in this video uh, particularly how to earn resources coins, woods and the fish battle food and these books alright so this will increase the destruction range of these barrels messages in here this is a boost it decreases the reload time of your boost for example, I have a bo an active boost that gives me uh, critical hit rate. Uh, any attack I will use, it will be a critical hit rate. For example, the cool time was 60%, it will decrease, uh, sorry, the 60 seconds. It will decrease 50% of the 60 seconds. You can do the max. So, you can go on through these and you can use these all of the skills. If you are in the racing missions, um, there this is the wind up and it won't you know 
in, when you are in the assassination missions this part will be helpful and this one expert seaman it increases the maneuverability you can easily maneuver the ship left right turn around pretty quickly and easily control your ship <clears throat> these are these skills it reduces the damage you take when you collide with the other ships and for this ship the the skills of the liberator it will increase the time given to save the slavers <coughs> after you attack a slave ship it uh, the slave will jump from the ship and you have to save them to complete it and you can choose these skills according to your liking and according to your mission you're going to play for example if you are going to play a race mission I will use this uh, skill full speed and also the skill called as the expert seaman. So these are the sailing skills. Here we go the whole passive skills. This one I'm using. Uh, the skills I'm using. Uh, it's a gold skill. You have to unlock special maps to get the gold skills and also to complete them. I will be uh, explaining that uh, as well in this video. This one gives me. The resources that are twice for example if i'm earning six thousand from a mission it will give me twelve thousand and for example if uh, the wood i'm getting is 60 it will give me 120 more so it's pretty obvious and very handy this is a crazy perk or skill and at the start of a battle each battle all your of your guns they are uploaded and you can just go boom 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 all right so this one here is the treasure bouncy well in each map you have to find the treasure uh, treasure chest and uh, these chests are you can get them by destroying the navy ships and also the merchant ships if you're using these skills uh, you uh, the chances to get the treasure uh, chest map is um, more likely to increase there are many other skills like for example here this skills it will increase the chance for the critical hit and well this broad side increases the amount of projectiles and blah 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 but well, there are many this one is a tanker skill it will increase the maximum HP of your ship uh, I'll fully upgrade it's, it will give you 15% there are many things here this this is another um, skill to decrease reload time for your weapons and here if you are going to a mortar weapon it will increase the amount of let's just say the bullets or whatever the shots uh, and it will increase them by 60 percent i guess the magazine goes to 15 shots after using the skills and in the lucky loot it will increase the resources you find in each crate while you're traveling you will find crates in the sea and there are lucky reload sort of skills exp and if there are mine defenders if you collide with the mine you will not lose much more hp of the ship <coughs> so i will gonna pro when you're when you are targeting a weak spot of the ship, uh, it increases the stability of the uh, swivel gun. So these are the whole skills. Here, this one is my most favorite skill. This is a spider web. A spider web, when you are in Sobo, let's example, you say you're gonna die, you have your HP like left 15% or 20%. You can use these spider webs. Uh, <clears throat> to uh, to break the enemy attack there are many other skills available here i personally prefer this skill this skill is a pair it, it increases or repairs the 10 percent hp of the ship this skill is very good for the racing missions but it, it temporarily boosts the ship of your speed all right so these are the figurehead all right these are the cannons there are many skills well not many four of them actually i personally like this critical shot because when you are on the upper level and you have a very powerful ship there is a heavy shot skill and if you use a heavy shot skill with the critical strike uh, you can do the damage the maximum damage i did with this ship the the uh, the ship i called the black pearl was 
618 uh, that's a pretty good damage large damage and mostly i can destroy ships in one shot i will be explaining how you can battle in another video and how you can increase your battle you know experiences and battle capacities all right so without wasting time let's go see how we can earn your resources you can tap on your profile and check how much resources and supplies of whatever you have here this icon with the question mark is uh, you know it's a mystery mission by a monk he gives you supplies and coins in return you bring him back some lost goods and let's go do it well there are some secondary and primary objectives that i'll be explaining later i'm gonna skip this chit chat and let's go you can also use the speed skills in this type of mission because you have to uh, find the goods and come back within the given time and at every spot where the goods are there is always an enemy ship that is guarding these goods so you are always gonna find, uh, fight that ship so let's go here it is this is not a small ship it's some kind of a boat so here I was explaining the heavy shot with the critical hit this guy is particularly small so you cannot use the heavy ship uh, heavy shot sorry so here's the spider web I have break it attack and it's my turn to attack so this one is a mortar weapon and it's a critical and all right it's done it's pretty easy I'm pretty powerful for these guys <laughs> so that ship is done for you have to go there near the area collect your good and you have to turn around go back to the monk give him his and get your click your reward you can also enjoy in this view but the speed will be slower a little not slower slow a little but in this view it can travel pretty fast and you can also see the wind in the mini map here it's opposite to the direction where i'm going and that's why my speed is little also a slow a bit so here we are with the monk and we have completed the missions they're gonna talk and got that so these are <coughs> you know the secondary objectives you have to finish in less than two minutes and 40 seconds then the other objective was not to take any damage you have to complete 800 percent to increase your synchronization so this mission gave me 400 exp original exp should be 200 because i'm using a skill to give me double experience and double rewards you have to also know that this mission also gives you books and the food all right apart from the coins so play this mission when you want to earn uh, collect more books and uh, the fish and also the coins all right let's close this one let's move on to the assassination missions all right and don't forget to collect your bounty well it doesn't matter because i don't need them at all anyway so let's go to the assassination missions Alright, so it has three objectives. One objective is that we not we don't have to we we're not supposed to engage the patrolling ships. We do not we're not supposed to take any damage, and we are supposed to finish it before one minute and twenty five seconds. All right, let's go move on. So there's this ship that is guarding or patrolling or whatever. So this one is a pretty easy one because it's the first map, and okay so. Here I am at the dark edge and we're gonna battle. So I'm gonna take my chances of targeting this ship with the heavy shot plus also my you know I'm using this critical skill. Alright, this is a heavy shot. We have to target the ship. Alright. 
Okay, so the damage was 391 because this ship's power is pretty low. It only have two power bars. Okay, so in the last mission we earned food in the boat. In this mission you can earn the wood. Wood is used to upgrade your ship. Alright, so this is the bounty that I'm going to collect anyways. Now let's move on. Alright, we are here at the temple so why not let's go. Alright, so this one, this guy got me while I was going. Alright, let's look at it. Okay, killing the navy missions also give you. Sorry, killing the navy ships also give you books, but the amount is too low. See, it's just two. So you know, you don't want to waste your time. You can see the circle. The circle is. It appears when there is a whale. Tap the upon icon and catch the whale. Alright, All right, so I will give you 40 barrels. You can also collect your food from this, you know, mysterious missions. Here I have already have collected 100 coins. The cost to do this one time is 19 barrel. So you have to pretty well, you know, collect the resources to play these temples. I have already explained that the, you have to collect 8 pieces of a map to unlock a specific customization for a specific ship. So we're gonna enter and I'm gonna play this one. I call it Tamperon because you can see we're inside a temple and then it's going down and the guy is scared and it's running. So it's literally just like Tamperon you can jump, you can slide and you have to go sideways. Okay these are the coins. You have to collect these coins, 100 of them uh, to get one piece of a map. I'm already done with that. so. don't need to bother anyway so this is pretty fun you're destroying you're playing a pirate and you're destroying the enemy ships the navy ships you're you know making those merchant ships to be afraid of you and all and at the same time you have this you know cool game to play in every map and not just one time you have to play it many times so it's, I mean, fun and fun and fun. Uh, you can check your progress, uh, how long you have to run, uh, run at the upper left corner of the screen. And I'm almost there. So yeah, all right, I'm going to get out of this creepy place that's going down. Yay, I survived. So this one, gay, you can, uh, when you collect these mini bags, you can collect some coins. And this one, this day shows you how much co the temple coins you have collected. I already have collected 100 coins. Alright, let's move on to the last um, side mission of the game. That is the racing missions. The racing missions are pretty, you know, easy ones in this map. As you progress <coughs> throughout the game, the racing assassination missions all these missions they will reward you more but at the same time they're ga they're gonna be more you know difficult to play uh, this guy he is crazy all right so you can also earn a spider web by dodging these if you dodge perfectly five times Okay, you can earn <coughs> a spider web. So uh, I'm on a critical shot, so I'm gonna kill this guy just look here. Alright, poof, no. Alright, so let's play a racing mission. There we go. So we have three kind of objectives. Objective number one is to finish at least when the 10 seconds are remaining you have not to take any damage and don't use any boost you have to upgrade ship of your speed to the maximum 
uh, ship of my speed is four bars you have to go through different you know checkpoints to complete they are 50 seconds to start you can uh, <coughs> pinch it out and be at this view so you can see things clearly before starting start increase your speed now this golden icon it's the boost you're not supposed to use the boost during this you know race missions you're not supposed to take any damage so you're, you're supposed to avoid these stupid boats here running around here and there you can use change your passive skills also so, uh, i mean increase your maneuverability of your shape and your speed uh, because that will be a passive skill it will not be a you know a speed boost and uh, we have to go through this narrow path you can also decrease your sh speed ship you're not supposed to i mean go always in a speed mode well so called a speed mode so There we go finally we are done so this mission gave me books experience you are always gonna get in the coins and now i have uh, explained how you're gonna get your you know <clears throat> how you're gonna get resources in this video and also how you can play this mission and also how you can 100 percent synchronize each of the missions so hopefully you guys have liked it and please like subscribe and share